Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Risk Rain 2 Modded. We are jumping in today as good old Alien Hominid, this little creature. This is a really, really cool character that I really enjoy. We're going to go in with the human machine gun. I quite like the machine gun with this guy. We have our charge shot as well, which means we can also charge our regular primary. We've got our dash forward, which is pretty good. And then we can use Chomp, which basically this little ability here allows us to ride enemies. And we can Chomp them to heal and deal damage. It's pretty interesting. Um, it's useful on uh, Eclipse, of course. And we are on Eclipse 2 as this guy, because I did actually manage to beat out Eclipse 1 with him. Uh, so we're going to jump in and see how he goes. See if we can get anything done as him and see if we can have a good time. Um... This character I tend to think is on a li little bit on the easier side because he has good damage and mobility uh, off of the bat. As you can see, the dive there is pretty awesome. And his damage can be really, really good. You can, like, spam fire or you can charge up. And you can do some pretty good damage to this guy, especially if you get some uh, additional fire rates. And as well, you can kind of see that you can kind of use your, your shooting to, like, hold yourself in the air a little bit, which is pretty useful. But yeah, for now, we're just going to be... Using this to do this, and you can use a charge shot there, which does some piercing burst, which is kind of nice. But yeah, I really enjoy this character. Also, just honestly, like, one of the things I enjoy about this guy most is just look at him. Just look at this little dude. He's the best little guy. Like, <laughs> look at him go. Oh, great. I absolutely love him. I'm obviously Alien Hominid Games back in the day. Some pretty good games, to be honest. Some pretty good games. We've also got this grenade as well. Very, very close range, but does an insane amount of damage. So it's kind of one of those ones that you uh, want to use for the right moment in the right scenario. But when you do use it right, it can do some pretty good stuff. Like almost killing one of those guys in one single grenade. And we can power that up with various different things as well. But yeah. First stage, we are just going to be trying to get as much money as we can, getting the chests and so forth. I love the fact that I dive recharges so quickly. I'll try and show you the riding of enemies as well. Um, right, we'll, we'll open this up for, off the bat. Why not? Yeah, I'll grab that. And, ooh, we've got a new item there. I've got a new pack uh, at the minute. I want to see what this item is. Increase health regen plus an additional uh, for every buff you have. That's pretty good. It's not a lot of health regen, that. Like, not a lot at all, but health regen is pretty nice. I like it. Probably not the best item, but I imagine getting a few stacks of it could be really, really good. And the interesting thing about, like, having, uh, like, it affecting you more based on the buffs you have, I feel like that could be really good, right? So let's, if we jump on this little creature here... Okay, I completely missed that. It's kind of hard to get the, 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 the bit where you ride them exactly right. You've got to, like, land directly on top of them. Which I find really difficult. <laughs> but you can do it. If, if we scroll over here. Um, hold input to either burrow into the ground or ride. I've, not, I've never burrowed into the ground before. That's kind of cool. I've not used that before. But yeah, we can use it to ride onto enemies here. There's a few of them. So if we go like that, there you go. And then if we jump off, it bites him and gives us a bit of healing. That's a pretty cool uh, idea. I like the sound effect it does as well. It's just really satisfying. We'll come back up to the teleport. We know where it is now. Let's make our way down here. A little bit of damage there, but not too much. What 3D printer we got? Ooh. If we get the right things on this floor, that could be really good, to be honest. Well, let's see what we get first. Another new item. Gain 10% chance to fire a knife. Uh, base damage that pierces. And gain armor for every enemy the knife passes through. That's pretty good, too. This is a, a new pack that I got recently. I can't remember exactly what it's called now, but... Ooh, nice. Increase health regen by 0 0.1 up to a maximum of 5. That's really, really good. Yeah, so when we want healing, we want to be chomping on enemies. Gasoline. We got to try on the mountain over there as well. I'll probably take that, to be honest. Right, last few enemies I've got to kill for this chest, and then we can get moving on. I love the fact that you can just dive straight up as well with this guy. Oh, yeah. And then, like, reduce fall damage and stuff. There you go. Grab that. A hey, mocha. I probably should have bought that other mocha that we saw. Oh, there's another chest here. Didn't, didn't expect that. Yeah, there was another mocha that we saw earlier. I probably should have just grabbed that. Good, good. And then this last enemy. We can open this up. A hey, rose book was really, really nice. 
10 armor and then an additional 10. Basically just 20 armor. Most of the time. We like 20 armor. Right. We know where the boss is now. Let's make our way up over there. I could 3D print here and grab some of those, but I don't think it's quite worth it. Can I climb the wall here? Where's the best? Oh, there's another chest here. Dude, we are missing out on a lot of chests, almost. This is a good item for us here, the frenzy. We like it. I think I can just about make that. Oh, it doesn't stick the... I was hoping it would at least stick the landing, but sadly not. Maybe if I get up on this rock and do it from here. Ah, oh, you... Come on now. So close. Oh, that fire rate bonus is uh, very noticeable. That fire rate bonus is very noticeable. I like that a lot. Right, let's let's make our way back around now because we're just wasting time at this point. But yeah, that that is really, really not noticeable from the pauldron. As soon as we get a kill, it starts stacking. There you go. I love the way that he kind of like bounces as he runs as well. It's so good. It's just a character that fits like really well into the game and feels really good to play. Yes, we got one more chest over here that we've got enough money for already. Take care of you. Grab that. Teddy bear's really good. I probably want a scrapper at this point because I do have a few items I might get rid of. That regen one, it's like, it, it's good in a pinch, but I'll probably end up getting rid of that. Right, boss-wise, I'm not sure how we're going to do. Let's try the mountain, so it does make it a little harder. Unfortunately, he spawned up top. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't. Stay out of the way of that, please. Oh, that's a new champion right there. Oh, my goodness. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting that. But the good thing about this is we can kind of stay up here to do a lot of our damage to the Vagrant. Vagrant, whatever you want to call it. Just kind of leave him out of the way. Get the fire rate going. Yeah, see, this worked out really well. And then we got you down there doing your thing. We can make our way down now towards him, actually. Yeah, he's easy peasy. This was a nice shrine of the mountain pull, this was. And we got ourselves shield and while um, you gain armor while your shields are active. Okay, that's pretty good. Damage reduction is definitely the best form of defense that we can get, so having armor right now is really, really nice. I like it. And because we are on, um, because we're on the s number two of the Eclipse mode, we're on Eclipse 2, um, the radius of the teleport is even smaller, so we got to deal with that too. Yeah, my, my white items so far, I, I the, the, the amber knife one seems decent. We're gaining a little bit of... I think ha stacking up a few of those could be really good. Unfortunately, it seems like it's a base of 10% chance and you can't change that. So that's not ideal. But I think that could be quite good if you stack a few of them up. So the damage on it is pretty decent. But there you go. We got through to the next area. Don't know what that is. Each stage, a uh, special stars box spawns. Okay, I guess I'll look out for that then. The reformed altar. Oh, hello. Now, by the way, I do have a mod on that's different from the last episode that rearranges where some of the stages appear. So, for example, um, there's that new stage on the first area that's kind of massive. That's been changed over to appear uh, as a second stage rather than a first stage. Just because it's like it's more fitting as a second stage, which I completely agree with. What's this here? Edible glue. Edible glue is actually not a bad one to have a few stacks of. So if we find a um, scrapper, that'd be decent to grab. I'll grab that once we've got enough. Oh my god. I hear, I hear a big boy. There he is. I need to kill some other enemies before I kill him so my fire rate goes up. There you go. 
just a Luna coin. I've got to, I've got to take a look when I hear the drop sound. This is more armor, right? Again, five armor on kill. Some armor is lost on taking damage. Uh, higher armor, lose, higher damage loses more armor. I can get with that. That's fine by me. Having some of these in the second stage is kind of wild. But that, that's what you get when you reorder some of the stages. But they're actually not that hard, to be honest. The HP isn't crazy. Right, we got a chest here. Reduced damage taken from elites is not bad. That's one of those items where it's, it's also, like, kind of meh. But if you get a few of them, it could be really good. Oh, here's the box. What? I don't know if that's a guaranteed red. Uh, plant... What's that? Plant a healing fruit seed that grows um, the healing plant. Okay, that's actually pretty amazing. Like, as far as legendaries go, gotta say that's not one that I rate that highly. But that's because I don't normally play Eclipse mode. I feel like on Eclipse mode, that's way more valuable. Having that regen. Ooh, what's, 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 what's this aura we've got going on here? Ah, it's a new elite. It's got a war banner effect on it. And it dropped a war banner on death for a second there as well. Ooh. So that's going to, like, buff up enemies that are near it. That's kind of cool. Rusted key. Not the best. We've got a lot of stuff I'd, I wouldn't mind getting rid of right now. Bungus. Bungus is kind of bad considering we've got the desk plant going on now. Yeah, so everything in this area is going to be dealing more damage and have more movement speed and attack speed, right? So I've got to be killing him ASAP. And it lasts a little bit after he dies. Yeah, you can see enemies that were in the radius got that buff. That's a really cool idea for a for an elite. It literally just gives him the war banner item, but like placed on him. Right, let's try and find some more chests here, because I don't know this area very well, I'll be honest. Oh. Um, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We might die here. One of the um, mini-bosses has spawned, and these guys are insane. This guy here is going to take a lot of damage, and he can move at some crazy speeds. And he can do that, which is not what you want to see. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I thought I saw two of them there. I just realized there's a big boy there. Okay, keep eye out for him. Most of the time, we just want to try and avoid him. Found a teleporter, good. I, you can kill him, but it takes some doing. Oh, dude, 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 he's on me, he's on me. He's on me. Don't stun me, guy, don't stun me. Okay, it's okay, we've made a bit of an escape. Another chest up there, another chest up there. At the minute, I'm opting for just ignoring him completely and hoping he goes away. It seems that he stopped chasing us for now. Nope, nope, I was wrong about that. You need to leave me alone, big boy. You need to leave me alone, big boy. He's healing. I just want this chest, man. It's Gorm's turn, God damn it! Stop healing him. I don't know how much health he has. There's no health bar. At the minute, I just know I don't want to be near him. Hey, I did it. I managed it. I got him. He did drop something, but then it disappeared. Hmm. He very briefly dropped something, but I don't know where it went. I'm just going to ignore it for now and uh, carry on with my deer. What do I get for this? Mercenary Expos. I don't know what that is. Hey, dude, three of those is pretty nice. Oh, wait, what? 
Excuse me? It sounds like he's still alive. What was that noise? He's still alive! He's still alive! Oh my god, I'm so fucked. <laughs> Get me the hell out of here. I don't want anything to do with this man. When will you die, big boy? He's so fast. A storm is approaching. That's not what I need right now. When are you going to die? Why don't you have a health bar? It's the fact that he just is so relent unrelenting. Like he just keeps coming and coming. Doesn't help that we got all these goddamn worm boys doing their thing. Right, so this guy must have multiple phases. Either way, I'm going to take my time to do the teleporter boss before things get even more hectic. Oh no. This is so bad. <laughs> Ancient Wisp is not the boss you want to be fighting. Is he back up again? He better not be. This is terrible timing, my guy. He very much is back at it again. Dude, how are you meant to survive this? This is nuts. Whatever mod is adding this guy, it needs to stop. This is absolute insanity. There is no way I'm living through this. I thought I'd spawn the boss, and that would help me, but no. He's so fast! It's insane, he's so fast! I just want to stand still so I can activate Bungus, or Desk Plant, or something. He just teleports on top of me. This isn't fair, man. I'm trying to take care of the Wisp now while I can. Get out of here, you. Right, try and focus on him for a minute. I don't know where he is anymore. There he is. I'm avoiding him reasonably well. But the the, the the goddamn wisp guy is not helping with this. He's gotta be nearly dead, come on. I'm not focusing on you for now. Right, that, that helps us immensely. Okay, now it's just this guy. What on earth is that? What are you? I've never seen that in my life. There is so much happening right now. Just stay out of my life, guy. I got little di disciple there, that's good. Okay, he's dead again. But by the looks of it, not dead permanently again. What on earth is happening right now? 
This has been nuts. How are you not actually dead yet? Dude, take the hint and die, please. I, I don't even know if I can actually permanently kill him or if he just like keeps hunting me and I basically am only killing him to pause his anger. Why is this teleporter taking so goddamn long? What kind of noise was that, big boy? Just chill, just chill. I just want to know if there's a reward for fully killing this guy, is all. But he just doesn't goddamn die. Also, these champions with the war banners are very plentiful. Right. I don't think he's dying, dying. He seems to be invincible. I don't know what this guy's about. That was intense. <laughs> yeah, get out of here, you. Get out of here. Right. There's a few of these items that I could definitely go for right now. Let's see if we can get any of them. That I will take. That I will take. And I'm not finding the other one that I want, unfortunately. Nah, I'll leave that for now. What we got going on here? Poison. What are our green items at the moment? We have some pretty good green items that get rid of a lot of our defense. Our white items, however, are kind of trash. Um, I'm going to try something I haven't done before on Eclipse mode. I'm going to go for um, this little area down here and see if I can utilize it to... Uh... Oh, come on now. Are you kidding me? How did I miss that? Oh, where the hell is it? What? What? Oh, here it is. Yeah, go down here and do the um, do the trials down here and see if I can get some items out of it. One second. All right, let's keep it moving. Yeah, I haven't done this in Eclipse yet, but I think it's worthwhile. Void fields can give you quite a lot of loot. Yo. It is pretty tricky though. It can be. We have we have decent movement. Just as a base for this character, this would actually have a lot of movement speed stuff, but... So the Void Fields, and we have good HP regen, which should mean... Let's just let's just test that out, actually, that theory. Yeah, good, good, good. I have a mod that makes it so that Void Fields don't cancel out, like, regen and stuff, because I think that's kind of annoying. So now I've actually got enough regen to stay in the Void and not get absolutely wrecked. So, we've got Solus Control uh, enemies, and they have medkits. So far, that's not too bad. I can't see anything, so I'm firing upwards there. That's kind of annoying. Hey, that's pretty good. How much is this? 200, nice. Right, and if you don't know how this area works, basically, while we're in here... Um, and, like, we have to do all of these little things. There's, like, eight of them or nine of them. It says five, actually. Um, and with each one, a new enemy spawns. And um, they have times five of a random item. Can get pretty scary, depending on the items that they end up being given. And you also get an item for each one that you do. As well as all the chests around the area, too, to take a look at. Cautious slug, I think, is probably the best one. Then you got to look for the beam in the sky, which at the minute I don't see. But 
actually. We, like I said, we have the regen because we have so much regen right now to just kind of survive, which is really nice. Crit glasses, there it is. We've got to make our way all the way over there. So yeah, it makes it, it makes the void a lot easier if you have the right items. Paper plane. That's an adaptive chest. If you have the right items, it makes the void a lot easier to survive. But the actual monsters and stuff are harder because normally it's you don't they don't get as many items. Got cows, they also get armor plating, which is pretty rough. Damn, these things are gonna be annoying as all hell later on, aren't they? The cows though really aren't too bad. They do they do good damage to you, but they're reasonably easy to stay out of the way of, to be honest. Every five seconds, all mechanical allies fire two nuclear missiles. Sounds pretty good. That's decent. I wonder if there's a scrapper down here somewhere that'd be useful. Oh my god, there's so many cows, man. Holy hell. Nail bomb. Decent. Not with these guys, though. They move too quick. Dude, these things. There's too many of them. Sprint speed. Yes, please. As yeah, so you can see, it damages our shield pretty heavily, but after that we're okay. A more movement speed, love it. And now they get uh, whatever this is, five percent crit chance and get attack speed. That's that's not too bad. And we've got the the, the bells enemies coming in, which they aren't too bad. The cows will have a hard time getting up here, so we don't have to worry about them too much. Grenade. Grenade won't really hit much up here. As I said, the cows kind of have a hard time making their way up here. Stay out of the way of those big iron balls and we'll be pretty much fine, I think. Some guys don't really do that much damage. I've got so much fucking regen. It's crazy. My defense is decent. Then while my shield's up, I have like plus, what, 45 armor, I think it is, something like that? is really, really, really good. Which is kind of like having an Urple, essentially. Um, being out of danger grants 15 barrier. That's pretty decent. That's, that's new to me. I don't know that one. I'll take that. Hold up. Let's do a little bit of exploring for a minute. Focus crystal, not too bad. And yeah, we can leave whenever we want. We don't have to do the, the entire journey, but I do I do tend to like to. I don't think big chests can spawn in this area by the looks of it. Three D printer's not too good, is it? That is uh that that's better than what we've got going on, I'll take that. Not too bad at all. Ooh, hello. Got one of these. Blaze of Glory. One of the most annoying ones out of all of the ones you can get from those yellow sort of whatever items they're called. Okay, so now we've got the clear men, and they have that item where you're outside of danger, the one that I literally just picked up, which makes no difference to those guys, I don't think. They might get barrier. Yeah, so they get, they get barrier as the approaches, but that's it. Other than that, it's not a problem. That axe is almost ready. Let's pop that. Ah, I didn't even realize. Because we got Gesture of the Drown. This axe is actually really, really good for us. For basically, when we use it, um, for eight seconds, we get increased damage and attack speed. But because of Gesture of the Drown, it's just activating every 25 seconds, pretty much. This is getting a little hectic, I will say. 
A little hectic, I will say. Oh my god, these fucking claymen guys are uh, wrecking me. God damn. I'm going to go for another one of those, to be honest. Next one's over there. Okay. I don't need to do that. Oh, man. This is feeling risky. The mug's not too bad. Next enemy, so they get this. That's fine. That doesn't do anything for them. And I think there's a normal amount of enemies now. Honestly, I think I just need to be focusing on these dudes. They're so hard to hit, though. Close range is the biggest problem right now. They can swipe at me, but I have a really, really hard time hitting them. At least I'm getting extra damage from my focus crystal and stuff. That is helping. But at the minute, this is all about trying to stay in the air and stay out and staying out of the way. Remember, I can chomp things as well. It's a little hard to do in the heat at the moment, though. I kind of rather save my dash for just getting out of the way than the potential of a heal. This is insane. <laughs> Absolute insanity. Yeah, killing the guys in the sky is just not plausible anymore. There's just too much going on on the ground. The amount of sound our gun's making right now. The desk plants are helping a good amount, though. We like that. Good, good, good. Hey, and there's our red item. Um, link enemies on hit. Three linking enemies. Base damage. Enemies become immune to getting linked. Um, killing an elite monster summons a strike drone. Awesome. That's a scorpion. The scorpion's just too good. We'll take the scorpion. Thank you. And that's it. So now, now we can just explore the area as we see fit. But I think we've pretty much seen everything there is to see. I can't believe we've not come across a scrapper even one yet. Which is it's kind of ridiculous, but it is what it is. And then, yeah, we can just leave when we want to leave. Quite difficult area, but we had the, uh, the defense to make it work, so we shall now escape with our loot. And yeah, we'll hopefully find a scrapper soon, because we have a lot of crap. <laughs> But the scorpion there's really good. Ooh, dude. Cool to see this stage. Oh man, the fire rip. Oh, here he is. He's the, the fucking guy we were fighting before. Now he's an actual boss. Is that him over there? Yes, it is. So I, th I think this is the guy we were fighting earlier. Oh no, is it? This might This might be a new one. He's got a gun. I see that he's got a gun. So this guy shouldn't be too bad with the uh, the scorpion reducing his armor and over, over and over. I mean, at the minute he's like kind of staying out my way, to be honest. Just, just keep my wits about me and we should be okay here. He is doing some damage to me. Wow. Oh my god. Am I bleeding? What on earth? Um. Genuinely have no idea why I just kept taking damage there. Um. Oh. Uh, I see. So he had this. Smoldering document. A chance to ignite. Um, so basically he just set me on fire and I was never not on fire. That was unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with these nemesis enemies. They seem ridiculously overtuned in my opinion. Um, I, If anyone knows how I can disable them or, ch or at least tweak their stats or something, I'd be very, very grateful because yeah, I just don't know how to deal with them at all, especially on Eclipse. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.